Hi everyone, Andrew here. Uh, welcome to Runtime Transform Gizmos. So uh, this is a quick introduction video for uh, the Runtime Transform Gizmos package, uh, which will be available on the Asset Store pretty soon. Um, this is a demo scene which uh, is available for uh, download for free. Um, I've left the link uh, the link down in the in the video description, and the link will also be available uh, in the package description once uh, once it will be available on the store. Now, uh, so what this package is all about, it's, it's basically a uh, scripting API which allows you to use uh, runtime transform gizmos. It contains uh, four gizmo types, a move gizmo, rotation gizmo, scale gizmo, and a universal manipulator. Right? It also contains a few bonus features such as a navigation camera, uh, a scene grid which can be used for snapping, and also a scene gizmo. Uh, which you can use to manipulate the camera and can also be used as a sense of, you know, to provide a sense of orientation inside the scene. And you know, you know what this is about and how to work with this uh, if you've actually used the Unity editor before. Um, yeah, so basically, uh, let's just start. I'm gonna start playing around with these gizmos a little bit and just uh, talk about, um, uh, just you know, talk about a few things. So uh, the move gizmo, yeah, uh, really simple. Just move and drag, just click and drag the handles. If you hold down the shift key, you'll be able to uh, move along the view axis. If I hold down the V key, I can choose a vertex and then do vertex snapping like this. And vertex snapping works on mesh objects or uh, on uh, on the terrain, uh, oh, sorry, on the, on the grid cells, right? Okay. Uh, then you have the, the move gizmos, uh, sorry, the rotation gizmos right here, yeah? There you go. Okay, uh, you have the scale gizmo. Uh, you can uniform scale by clicking on the mid cap. Uh, then the axis can be used for non-uniform scaling. And if you hold on the shift key, you can actually scale along two axes at once. Yeah. So this is the al an alternate mode, uh, in pretty much the same way that you can act ac actually use the uh, view. Uh, the you know view axis for a move gizmo to move along the view uh, vectors. Uh, I can do the same with the um, uh, with the scale gizmo. Yeah, hold down the shift key and you can just scale along two axes at once. And then finally you have the universal uh, manipulator, uh, which can be used to move, rotate, and scale objects. Yeah. Now the universal manipulator gizmo is pretty much uh, it, it's a little bit different than the one that you uh, that you have access in, in the Unity editor. Um, basically, it doesn't have the uh, scale handles for each uh, individual axis. Yeah, it, it only has this middle cap here that allows for uniform scaling, but you cannot scale along one axis at once. Uh, the reason for that is basically well, first of all, most of the times you you just want to scale objects uniformly like this, yeah. And secondly, um, having an additional handles for uh, for the scale um, for axis scales, it's it's pretty much I don't know. Uh, it just it feels a little bit crowded, and I didn't want to do that. So for now, at least, uh, the universal manipulator can only be used to scale uniformly like this, yeah. All right, yeah. So this is uh, pretty much. Um, everything about gizmos. Now, uh, as you can see in this particular example, uh, the gizmos are pretty much locked to a game object. Yeah, I've locked them to uh, specific game objects and you can you, you cannot change that. Um, it's it's your responsibility to implement, uh, you know, the, the functionality to, you know, enable and disable gizmos as you fit. Probably you want to build a level editor and you want to select objects. Yeah, you have to implement a selection mechanism and then you can use the gizmos to actually control the selected objects. And in future video tutorials, I'm gonna teach you exactly how to do that. I'm gonna teach you how to enable and disable gizmos. I'm gonna teach you how to change the position of gizmos, how to change the local space, uh, the, the transform pivots, yeah. Um, and pretty much everything that you need to know to actually you know, take advantage of this, of this API. Uh, and as you can see here in this in this example, uh, you can actually have more than one gizmo active at, at the same time. Yeah, you can have as many gizmos as you want. Uh, now, of course, there is a performance penalty for many for having too many gizmos, yeah. But if you use common sense and you just you know if you, if you don't go crazy with it, <laughs> uh, then it it should all be it should all be fine. Um, I'm guessing around like on my machine, I can use around like 
I don't know, 70 gizmos until I can actually see, you know, like a, a significant performance drop. I can use 100 gizmos, but in that case, I can I can actually see a significant uh, performance drop. Yeah, so I guess, I don't know, it's safe to say somewhere around like 50 gizmos at the same time at, at the same time in the scene, that, that should be okay. So, uh, yeah, um, the, the draw calls are the main performance um, bottleneck here. Um, luckily, the plugin does actually perform a, f a sort of like a, like a frustum, uh, you know, calling thing. Yeah, so gizmos which are not visible to the camera are not going to be are not going to be rendered yeah no draw no draw instructions are going to be performed for the gizmos which are not visible to the camera um yeah so if your gizmos are uniformly distributed across the scene and you just move and rotate the camera around um you might actually get away with using a lot more gizmos than than what i've said before yeah uh all right now uh, let's just talk a little bit about the camera yeah so the camera is basically just uh, a regular Unity navigation camera, yeah, the, like the one that you use inside the Unity editor. Um, you hold on the right mouse button and use the W, A, S, and D keys to move around. Uh, again, right mouse button and mouse move to just look around like this. Um, hold down the middle mouse button to pan and the mouse scroll wheel to just zoom in and out. Uh, you can also hold down the Alt key and the right mouse button and then move the mouse to orbit the camera. Yeah, um, And the orbit point is always set to the last focus point. Yeah, So uh, the, the plugin allows you to focus the camera on a, on a, on a collection of objects. However, uh, this is there is no hotkey that allows you to do that. There is a scripting API. Yeah? There, there is a function with that, that it can call to actually uh, be able to focus the camera on a bunch of uh, on a bunch of objects, yeah. Um, and I'm gonna I'm gonna show you how to how how to do that in the in the video tutorials. Um, and finally, the scene gizmo, you know, you can just use the middle cap here to just change um, the perspective, yeah. Or you can use the label here, uh, and you can use the axes to just you know to align the camera to a you know to different views, yeah. All right. Well, uh, that's pretty much it. Yeah, so um, thank you very much for watching and I wish you all a nice day. Thank you. Bye-bye.